Hello. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is that us? That's us. Wow. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Brian. We're in a new technological age. We certainly are. Uh, and, uh, and I'm not handling it very well. Well, you got there in the end. Well, with your help. <laughs> Thank God. Welcome to play, <clears throat> Playtime Interval Interviews number 30-something, 30 39 or something. Ooh, lucky number. Yeah. Um, so I have, a, I have a series of questions that I ask everybody, but um, we'll see how many of them I can get through. But first of all, where are you in the world? I'm in Glasgow, and that's the back garden. Are, you, the attending, green. are you attending the Climate Summit? Yes, you can tell by the state of the world outside the window. It's not going well. <laughs> <coughs> and how how was um how has lockdown been for you and all that? How did you get through that? Walking the dog, Tom. Right. Walking the dog. <laughs> uh, cooking and ploughing my way through Netflix and Amazon Prime. Okay. Uh, I played, played a bit. A bit of piano as well, I must admit. But, uh, what was your favourite programme on the, the Netflix? Have you got a recommendation? Oh, there's so many. Um, Ozark. Okay. Which I thought was great. And I'm going through Justified at the moment on Amazon Prime. I, I think I watched Ozark. And the, the, at the beginning, it, I was not sure if it was just a, a kind of new version of My Name's Earl. But, I haven't uh, seen my name's Earl. So. Well, it's just like the same thing happens every episode, uh, and it goes on for like ten years. But then it it kind of then it sort of you know it definitely wasn't like that. It kind of it kind of got a lot better. And, yeah, uh, I thought so. Yeah, no, it was good. But I haven't seen the last series, so I need to catch up. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, lots of twists and turns. And uh, presumably, you've got piano in your house. We have an upright, yes. Um, right. In fact, I'll, I may just go through and show you. Well, that's very oh, untidy. Oh, yeah, let's get a wee tour. Well, this is the, this is the kitchen. Okay. And, uh, I, like I like your pulley. See if I can find it. Yes, that's my clothes. <laughs> it almost comes in handy. <laughs> uh, now, where are we? Do I have to turn around so you can see things? Uh, yeah, I guess, well... It's up to you, I guess. Uh, you've frozen. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian has frozen. I'm still moving. Oh, there, there you go. are. Yeah, good. Yes. Um, right, so there's okay. the piano. There you go. Beautiful. And can you and play it without getting uh, annoying people? No, I never could, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Which is why I don't work very much. <laughs> I mean, do you have, like, neighbours and stuff, and do they tolerate it? Well, I don't do it into the small hours. I just right. do, um, just try to find the dog. Do do, say hello to Tom. Do do, say hello to. Hello. Can you see her? There she is. Good girl. That's Zuzu. I always feel bad about Zuzu because my dog sort of slightly attacked her when she was staying with Fiona. Oh. Oh, there's, is that what we're going to see your dog again? Uh, well, the, 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 the miscreant is uh, Border Terrier. No, they're both ah. Border Terriers. Well, that's funny because she hates Border Terriers now. <laughs> you go, for, you go for them in the street. Right. So I thought it was maybe Fiona's ones, but uh, oh well. So you're no, to blame. Uh, that's good. It's Buddy. His name is Buddy. Buddy. Yeah, yeah. And he's a, he's a dick. Um, <laughs> but, so are you... Because uh, the one thing I don't know about you, Brian, is are you a pra how much do you practice how much do you practice and if you pra was there a period when you practiced a lot or are you just kind of a, this sort of natural talent what, what's the story there uh, i've practiced a lot um of, of just piano playing classical stuff and when i was at uni and when i went to piano lessons and then and then i just tried to learn tunes when i started getting into jazz so and uh, those were the great days when there was loads of gigs I was actually learning on the gigs, um, which doesn't seem to happen anymore because there's no gigs. But so I don't practice an awful lot unless it's something new um, or, you know, some project that I have to sort of try and get things together. Um, but 
Yeah, I don't practice nearly as much as I should. And so so I could have been a virtuoso after the last 18 months, but uh, I just sort of, oh, you froze there. Yeah, so you, you, you froze as well. So I just turned something off to make it All right. hopefully better. So are you, do you think you're virtually a virtuoso? No. No, if you count, well, if you count virtuosity as being able to slam your fists and elbows down in the piano, then yes, I'm in the top three. But uh, um, apart, apart from that, no. no. So how, how did you get into jazz? What was your route into it? Uh, I don't, well, my dad had a couple of jazz records, sort of Oscar Peterson one and something else, because he was 99.9% uh, .9 classical, I think. Okay. The Penguin Stereo Classical Guide must have had a Oscar Peterson bit in it, so he thought I better buy this. So I listened to that, and I just I played by ear a lot, so I suppose it was a natural thing. Um, I could you pick didn't up. have a lot of you, so you're saying you didn't have a lot of jazz as a kid, like around you? Not as a kid, no, no. It was more classical and yeah. heavy metal when I was sort of um, at school. I was in a band and. And yes, and I had love beads and everything. It was great, and uh, a big afro because oh, really? I can't grow. Well, I can't grow long hair; it just goes bushy. A ginger afro. Ginger afro, yeah. I'll show you wow. the photo one day. Um, <laughs> if you can't quite, if you're feeling sick and you can't quite be sick, I'll show you that photo. And that'll help you. I might find a photo of vomiting. a ginger afro and stick it yeah. up. Anyway, um, the the first time I met you was. Uh, you were studying classical music at Edinburgh University. Yes. And you turned up at a gig at the Queen's Hall. I can't remember who it was with. And I, I don't think people on the jazz scene at that point really knew who you were. But you seemed to be pretty, already pretty good at that point. What so was how, this how, how did that, the gig? you meeting the jazz scene and kind of getting into the jazz scene? Uh, it was actually... Giant. Uh, through John Ray and Brian Shields, uh, they I was working in used to work in a record shop called Ray Max Ray Macintosh in the, yeah. in the West End. <coughs> and, uh, excuse me, a Saturday job, and I, think, I can't remember how I met John, but they used to come in the shop, and then we got a wee trio together doing Evergreen Standards in the Mount Royal Hotel in Princess Street, and so I would go along there laden with real books as you do and I just got started to get it started to play with them and then hearing more and more and hanging out with people and meeting you and Sophie and Phil and so that was the turning point and did you ever get jazz piano lessons off anybody no no <clears throat> no I was meant to um actually I went to the states uh to try and get lessons off a few people and that all fell by the wayside. We just had a great time in the States. Uh, well, you went I, to the States, but you didn't quite make it to the lesson. Well, there wasn't any lessons there because I, I hung out with Michael Moore and went and played with Bobby Watson. And uh, But I was meant to be trying to get piano lessons off Jimmy Rowles. Or Jimmy Rowles. Right. Of course, he lives in LA, so that was uh, completely kaput because I was in Manhattan. Uh so it was a bit, I should have done a bit more research as to where he stayed, I suppose. But, uh, <laughs> but I had a great time. But no, I've not had any, uh, any lessons from anybody. Just sort of, nah, I had a, had a couple of books. But it's mostly listening and playing, playing on the gigs, playing with people. Uh, like they used to do in the old days, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you I mean, it's, it's quite, that's quite amazing. Um, and you, I, there's probably not a lot of jazz musicians nowadays that do that. So, so many people now go to college and they learn in the same, the same way. Everyone's learning the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a place for that, but I've, I'm still, you've got to make mistakes on the gigs to learn from the mistakes rather than come out of a college being, um, knowing everything, but, not really knowing it, if you know what I mean. You could play over all the modes and the scales and the things, but you've got to communicate with the audience. You've got to know what to do, I think. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, shit. Right, that's the, that's the door. Could be a delivery. Hang on with me. Do you see that? The door watcher. Come in, Dylan. Come in. Good girl. Good girl. Sorry about this, Tom. No, this is good. This is ex- exciting for the viewers. Hello. Oh, hiya. Hello. Okay. Yep. That's great. Thanks very much. Thank you. Hey, there this, you is, go. this is great. We could do this the whole day. Oh, yeah. A day of the life of the uh, Ivan Boring bastard. <laughs> right. right. Well done, Juju. Good girl. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, have you ever considered like basing yourself somewhere else, or have you ever lived anywhere else in Scotland as a jazz musician? Have you ever thought about trying to do work somewhere else? Uh, no, well, Edinburgh was, was and is great. I mean, I, I moved through to Glasgow. It's kind of interesting the, the, the pose that you're in when you freeze. It's, it's like God has decided to take a photo. Oh, there you are. You're back. Oh, good. So are you. I lost Excellent. you there for a second. Um, oh, shit. Is that, that's, that's, that's the door again. Bloody hell. Sorry about this. <laughs> Oh, that's just good. Right, I wonder what it's going to be. This. The suspense is killing me. Right, so you love it. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's a big box thing. Well, it's, a, it's a mini floor lamp. Hang on a second. I've got to lift this in. Oh, Christ. Oh, yeah, bastard. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> there you go. That was that one. There you go. Oh, it's a big one. That's yeah. a big one. I know. It was the uh, same lady as well. She must have forgotten. Any so. any clues? Any clues on what's in that one? It's a mini flo- brass floor lamp that Alice nodded for the bedroom. Okay. Oh, That's all I ever do. These just answer the door and bring her parcels in. At least you get anything for me. Size. Gone again. I think there's a spot in his house where you would it coming back from the door. Oh, there you, there are. you go. Great. Ah. Uh-huh. Um. Uh, so. Uh. For, okay. Last question, because I'm. I'm. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm lo- the hopefully the door will go again because that was absolutely brilliant. I loved it. The sort of <laughs> angle that we got there was. It was exciting. It was beautiful. Um. <laughs> um this this intervals this uh interviews going out during the interval of the gig mm-hmm. on Friday. Um, I just wondered what you thought of the first the first half. Just finished. Uh, I thought the piano play leaves a little to be desired, to be perfectly honest, but um, I thought the guys in the band were fantastic. Okay. The audience, unbelievable. Good looking and audience, eh? Very, very good looking. Very, very good, yeah. yeah especially that um, life chap at the back. Uh, I don't really know his name, but I'll find out. Ronnie Ray, maybe? Could have been Ronnie Ray. Could, might have been. Who knows? Um, it's, it was, I'd love to, see, love to see Fiona and Ronnie, anyway, uh, at the gig. So no pressure. Uh, <laughs> well, Fiona, Fiona's already booked a ticket, and um, Ronnie's well, still... She? Yeah. Ronnie's... Uh, Ronnie's well, still... Uh, he's got to look after the dog. Yeah. yeah. And what 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 tunes are, are we have we just played? Is there any um, context behind the choice? No, it's just I thought um, Martin sent me a list of um, ones that you've done before, so I thought I'd just do your greatest hits and see what happens. So okay. that's why the first set was so shambolic on the, from the piano front. But uh, I'm sure the second set will be much better. So stick around. And what's the few? What was? Have you got sort of? Um, have you got any projects brewing to tell us about, or things that you're planning to do musically? Uh, you released oh, a couple of albums with John last year, which which were great. Yeah. Oh, I. I mean, well, I didn't release them. John released them. I have no say in the matter. Um, yeah, I, I was a bit um, surprised how good. Um, the trio one was. I'd forgotten all about it, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I've got a, I'm going to do a duo album with John Burgess um, quite soon, hopefully. And I did a trio 
with Roy Percy and um, Ross Milligan doing sort of Marty Grosh things with okay. Ross singing. So we did that at the Jazz Festival. We're going to try and get some more gigs with that, and maybe expand it into a couple of the front line as well. Um, so just, I mean, to be perfectly honest, Tom, I'll do anything. Uh, if there's any money, I'll take it. But I mean, you 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 can play such an incredibly wide range of styles and jazz. But is there a sort of where is your sort of heart? Are you interested in all of it, or are you really interested in that sort of? Um, I'm interested in all of it. I mean, I, mean, I suppose the, the sort of hard swinging stuff is more of what I do all the time. But I mean, I'm interested in. I, I like the hard swinging stuff with an edge and and just see where it goes and sort of take it out and I don't take it out very well but I mean I, I try and it's it's nice to see it's, it's the interaction with the musicians I like to have that and so that I'm really looking forward to the second set so um <laughs> so get more interaction going you know get Graham to get his pedals out yeah well um well, listen, Brian, it's lovely to talk to you. That, that's plenty of, uh, of chat, so I'm going to have to cut it down a wee bit, but um, <laughs> looking forward to the second set hugely. Yes, so am I. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye and then carry on talking to you because it won't be in the interview, if that makes any sense. Yes. I'll just make sure that the doors are locked in the hall so <laughs> nobody can get away at the end of the interval. So. All right, Brian. Thanks very much, Tom. See you. See you. See you. See you. Bye-bye.